What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we're gonna be talking about modules in Angular. And modules are going to be the largest logical separation of code that you can have in Angular. Also, I just call it the biggest chunk of code that you can possibly have. Like in C Sharp, we have namespaces. In JavaScript, I think there's modules too. There, yeah, I think there's modules in JavaScript as well too, but just think about it like this, a simple story. Say, programmers, you know, we get really excited about projects and you get a great idea for an app in your head and you're building UIs and you're calling up all your friends and you're saying, you know, I've got this crazy idea for an app and you actually end up building it. And then the next thing you're like, oh God, like, now I have to have like an admin pa panel for this and I've made all this code. Like, what am I going to do? Cause now, you know, I have like this giant tree of code and I've got, you know, list coming off of it. Think of it almost as like a tree, uh, tree, how, how, however people did in elementary school, <laughs> I, you know what I mean? There's a, there's a way to draw a tree, but the tree has roots and, a lot of times when you get so excited about uh, a project, you don't really realize that this top level code right here is very important and you need to pay very, very close attention to what you're doing up here. And this is modules. Modules are going to be almost like the top level. They're going to be the, tr the trunk of the tree. And it's very, very important that you understand how modules work because if you screw up the trunk of the tree, the whole tree is going to be fucked up from like the, that point on. So if you've ever seen a tree, not, if you've ever seen a tree not grow right or the trunk or these parts down here get messed up, the tree is like screwed up for the rest of its, you know, life. It's the poor tree. But nonetheless, <laughs> modules are going to be that. So there's, there's different types of modules. Um, the, and the one that we're going to be building or the one that we're going to be using is the feature module. So feature module, this is in our Pokemon app. We're going to build a Pokemon app. We are going to build, um, I'm just going to say this is going to be, there's going to be a core, which is just the app that we have right now, but we are going to add a Pokemon Let's just call this an admin. This is going to be an admin panel. So we have our actual core module, then we're going to build a feature module. We can talk about shared modules and routing modules later. Shared modules are where you put, they're just kind of the way that they sound. They're where you put shared services. You put services in here. You can put components that are used all over the app. So let's just say if you had multiple feature apps, like you had a multiple feature app down here, down here, these, all these feature, all these featured um, modules would be able to actually use all these. These are almost like universal components that can be used all over your app and routing. That's just the way it sounds. You, ha you have a module to store your routes and that's something we can talk about at a later date. So besides having just logical separation, another reason that we have modules, and this is very, this is another really, really important thing to remember because People will probably, this This is like an interviewee type question. You know what I'm saying? This is the type of thing that you will see on an interview. So lazy loading. Lazy loading is ubiquitous in programming. There's lazy loading everywhere. There's lazy loading in entity framework and in C sharp. And lazy loading just essentially means different modules will only load when they're being used. So in Angular, the whole entire, like this is the Angular tree. So if we have a trunk over here, we have a trunk over here, the whole app is going to load, but the code is not going to be executed and actually stored in memory till it's being used. If you don't have lazy loading, the whole tree loads and it's a lot slower. So not only does mod do modules provide separation, people will also ask you that, like what does, you know, what else does it do? It provides logical separation or you could just call it separation as well too. But um, one last thing before we start, modules are kind of, can be a little confusing. And I think that this is going to be a little bit more advanced than kind of what we've been talking about so far. So 
you may want to write this down or just remember when uh, if you forget these two commands, we're going to be using the Angular CL, CL, CLI. So if you forget these two commands, just remember these are the commands that we are going to use to actually create um, the the module. So and also this is not going to this is just let's just call this Pokemon. We could call it Pokemon Admin. Uh, we, yeah, we could call it Pokemon Admin, but I'm just going to call it Pokemon. You could even call it like base. You could you could call this module whatever you want to. Just remember that it is a module. So I'm just going to call this the Pokemon, and we are going to refactor this as well too. And I'm just going to give us give you also a brief overview of how we're going to refactor it so that it you don't get lost in the sauce. So here we're going to have our app. And the module, this is going to be one module. This is going to be the Pokemon module, Pokemon. So this is the actual module. And then here we're going to have the list. We're going to have a Pokemon list. We're gonna break apart our, uh, we're going to get all of that code out of the app. All the code right now is getting out of the app. So we're gonna take it, you know, all that code that we had in here and we're going to put it down into the Pokemon list. And this Pokemon, we're going to be creating a smart component. So the module is not going to be, a module does not actually have any type of logic in it that pertains to our app. It's literally just a tree, like I, like I said, like a tree trunk. And most of the actual code is going to be in our Pokemon list. So the Pokemon list is going to be our smart component and down here we're going to create a dumb component we're going to create some dumb components one dumb component is going to be the pokemon detail and i'll have to separate this into other videos so this is going to be pokemon detail and then we're going to also create another dumb component that's going to count our cool pokemon so we had uh, data that was storing cool pokemon so cool pokemon count once again, these are going to be dumb components. So this is confusing right now. It will make sense more as we go into it. And uh, it will, like I said, it's going to make sense kind of as we go into this. So first things first, let's go in here and run our command. So I'm going to go ahead and go LS. And I want to get my, um, I'm going to bring this over here so that I can look at it. But you you can uh, watch my command. So I'm going to go ng generate, ng generate module, and I'm just going to call it Pokemon base module. Oh, or uh, actually, don't add module to the end of it because it automatically does, and it will call it like module module, and it looks terrible. So just call it Pokemon base or call it whatever you want to. Who cares? It's just a little dumb app that we're making anyway. So we're gonna go here and watch what happens. So it's gone in here, it's created a folder for us, and what it's done is it's created this thing. So once not a lot of code in here, not a lot of logic, but what we want to do is we want to come in here. This is very important, do not forget this. Do not forget this part or there's going to be people down in the comments who are going to say like my app is giving an error and I can't figure it out. It's because this part right here. So make sure you pay attention to that because that is really, really important. And I'm just going to say it one more time just in case people are dozing off or getting their attentions elsewhere. This is very, very, very important. Make sure that you have this here. I don't know why they don't put it there, but they don't. And it is something that will drive you nuts if you forget about it. So next thing that we want to do is we're going to generate a UI component. And a UI component is literally just, um, it's, a comp it's just like a, a little chunk of your UI. And it's something that is, if you're familiar with React and if you're familiar with a lot of things, or if you're familiar with a lot of web development, components are just little chunks of the UI. So they're a smaller chunk than an actual module. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna go generate, and we're gonna go, we're gonna generate a component, and then we're gonna go into Pokemon base. We're gonna go into our module. Then we're going to add a 
Pokemon list. Just like that. We're going to go module. Then we're going to go Pokemon base. So the module is going to be Pokemon base. Make sure we have our module and we have our TS just like this. And you might want to double check that because it's very easy to misspell. In fact, I might get an error. I always get errors when I do this, but fingers crossed it works. Pokemon base module TS does not exist in the following directories. So app, so source app Pokemon base. Pokemon app, Pokemon base. Okay, so I'm trying to figure. I think, I, I think what's going on is it's in here. So Pokemon base. Fingers crossed. There we go. Okay, great. So now we have our app and we have our modules within our, uh, we have our component within our module. The next thing that we want to do is we want to wire up our Pokemon list. Remember I said that this export thing is very, very important. If you forgot to add, if you forgot to add that, it will not work. And that is something for future reference in the future. You always need that export there or it's not gonna work. And I don't know why that they do that, but they did. Next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here and we're going to add, Not we're not gonna add that just yet. We're going to add our module into our app module TS. So if you didn't see that, we need to go into our app module TS, go in here. Then I'm going to go Pokemon base module. Gonna go ahead and add that. And we don't need to add these declarations in here. We don't need to add our component declaration because our base module is going to have it. And that's the beauty of base module. So I'm gonna go here and we're going to add our Pokemon list. And this is going to be our smart component. This is what's going to be, if you remember, if you, ha if you don't know what a smart and a dumb component is, Go check out my Angular architecture video because smart and dumb components are very important in this whole entire refactoring process that we're about to do is going to be built off of that. So um, let's go ahead and run it, make sure that it works. Hopefully it does. It's the first time that I've built this today, so it's gonna take forever. And our Pokemon list works, our module works we can now begin the refactoring process for the rest of the stuff down here. Anyway, that's gonna be the video on modules. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and as always, thank you for watching.